good morning guys happy sunday look how many nails i have on i have tracksuit bottoms leggings jumpers scarves oh i'm gonna put the world's biggest gloves on these are literally like crazy gloves but they're super warm i'm gonna catch the bus into town because it's very very cold it's a layer of frost and all the cars are there Oh, this is really good news. You know that van which was parked annoyingly in front of where I live? So, it looks like they've parked on the next building on. I really hope this is a thing because <laughs> this will make my life. I literally actually haven't seen the van since being back, so. Yes. These are the gloves, though. So. Got like a little layer of fluffy inside there. We are going to train an upper body session. And then I will probably meet my parents' coffee on Sunday, and that'd be nice. Yes, so a week today is Christmas. Oh my gosh, apparently, I think my parents got their Christmas tree yesterday, so I look forward to seeing that next week in my flat vest of a tool. I don't know whether to get a little baby tree. I did this last year or not, because I'm not actually going to be here for Christmas. I'm with my parents, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Good evening guys! Excuse the hairdo. Honestly, whenever I get on the phone to my parents, <laughs> I've got this hairdo. It was like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> no, it's a bit of a weird do, I know. It was because I was doing some handstands in between waiting for jacket potatoes to cook. But here we have dinner. We have salmon stuffed potato. A bit weird, I know. I don't know why, I just felt like it. With roasted vegetables and I'm gonna add a little bit of, I think, this mayonnaise. Guys, this, if you're looking for a good mayonnaise, it's high in calorie, but I'm not gonna have very much of it. All natural avocado and lemon mayo. Oh, it's really, really good, it's so creamy. So I'm gonna have a little bit of that. And that is dinner today, slightly different. Never made this before. I did add, did I say a little bit of parmesan on top? I had a tiny bit left, because I bought that tiny parmesan pack, which I did actually use, obviously, for my spaghetti bolognese, but I had like the smallest bit left. So the next week is gonna be extremely busy because it's Christmas week. I'm gonna put my laptop on. I'm gonna run out of charge. Obviously, I'm going back to my parents on the 24th, and I've got quite a few friend things on leading up to Christmas, quite a few friend things after, well, in between the kind of Christmas New Year. Going to my sister's on the 27th and 28th, and it's gonna be uh, very, very busy. Um, also, I've got all my work things. That won't stop. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go back to Bali, or whether I'm gonna go to Mexico a bit earlier whether I'm going to stay here, whether I'm going to go back to Thailand, I just haven't decided yet, so I'm just seeing how this kind of festive period goes and then I'll make my decision. Being back home, like, I really, really love my flat. It's just so nice, like, I don't know, it's nice to cook and it's just nice to, I'm trying to eat this thing, um, but home and see friends and family, well, obviously, that's the main thing, but it is so cold. And I know how much the cold affects me. Because I want to be super productive and I've got a lot of filming I want to do in the new year. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. Focus on this. Good morning, guys. We are at 5.30. I got up at 4. I'm still getting up at 4 every morning. <laughs> I actually quite like it, to be honest. I'm super productive from, like, 4 till, I would say, 10, 11. Because that's when I normally work, train get stuff like that done and then it depends sometimes I have client calls from early sometimes have them from like 11 or midday onward so today I've got one at 11 and then I'm meeting my friend for a walk so I'm very excited because I haven't seen her in ages I've got a lot of cleaning I need to get done today um so I want to make sure my flat is nice and clean even though I'll be going to my parents obviously in a couple of days for Christmas but I just like everything to be it's always tidy, it's always tidy, but also to be like super clean and obviously when you get back from being away for a long time, I, I you know, cleaned it thoroughly before I went, but also it kind of accumulates a layer of dust and so I feel like I need a bit of a spring clean. <laughs> 
<laughs> a bit of a routine. Um, I've wrapped some of my presents for my family, ready. I've got like maybe two more to wrap, I think, so not too bad. I do need to also try and find something for one of my best friends. So I need to see that today. And I was thinking, I basically used to have a chocolate making business and I thought I might make some chocolates for people for Christmas. If I do, I'll show you guys. Also guys, we're doing a secret Santa and my sisters on, I think it was the 27th. <laughs> and I got my secret Santa a hat, but it arrived and I just don't think it's gonna fit them. Like I really actually like the hat, it's a barber hat. I mean, it's from Baba, but it's really cute. It's like a little beanie. I'll show you guys. I love it. I think this is really nice. <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna have to keep it because I honestly don't think it's gonna fit them. You've got one kind of half hat anyway, so it's probably a good thing. But I just don't fit them now. <sighs> Thought I was all sorted. I'd ordered all my presents. They'd arrived and I was like, oh perfect, I can wrap them. Now I'm in a dilemma. Guys, quickly for a gate, this is the gym outfit today. So I've got my favourite obviously green shorts that you guys have probably seen a lot of times. My new socks, my little lounge dress socks, my black hoodie, and yeah, that is what we're wearing today. I feel like at the moment every single day is a leg day but I can promise you it's not. So I'm alternating between upper body and then lower body, and today happened to be another lower body day. So I'm really trying to focus on kind of lean gains. I don't really want to get too big. As I've mentioned about a million times before, I just don't really like the big bulky look, but I'm trying to kind of work on defining different areas in my body um, and a very, very gradual kind of growth in those areas as well. So I start off with the adductor machine, um, a good activation exercise and then I moved on to the laying hamstring curl, one of my favourites. I quite like doing this towards the beginning of my session just because again I, it really helps me with activation of the hamstrings. Hamstrings is still an area that I'm really trying to focus on growing but I've got to admit it is now more kind of the full leg and glute package that I do want to develop rather than just the hamstrings and the glutes um, where I did have I guess maybe overly developed quads. Then I moved on to a single leg leg press, another one of my favourites, um, always for the hamstrings and the glutes really working well in these. My top set was actually 40kg on each side um, plus obviously the machine weight so it's a pretty good weight for the single leg leg press and it was definitely pretty difficult towards the end. Then I moved on to the pendulum squat. So this is amazing because they never used to have this in the gym that I train in and now they do. <laughs> the only thing which is quite funny is I didn't realize apparently there's a setting to make it lower um, and I clearly wasn't on the lower setting. And <laughs> so next time I will make sure that I actually make it lower. I find it a real struggle to go too much heavier than like maybe 10 kg on each side. Even at that weight, it feels incredibly heavy. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried a pendulum squat before, but you'll know what I mean if you have. Then I moved on to the reverse hack squat. Again, a really good exercise for glute activation and hamstrings. Obviously, you can do it the reverse way, I just don't find it so beneficial. And I actually find sometimes my back starts to come off the pad at the bottom, so I find it quite uncomfortable um, and unsupportive. That's why I do the reverse hack squat instead. After that, I moved on to my absolute favourites, good mornings. I do apologise for the angle of filming of this exercise because it's not the best, I know. <laughs> We're not going to lie. Um, but after the good mornings, I moved on to leg extension, Bulgarian split squats, calf raises to finish off the session. And that was my session. I didn't finish the last three exercises because I was a little bit limited on my camera battery. Um, but yeah, that was the session today. Training is done. It was another really good session. I'm so pleased with my session since I've got back from being away. I feel like they've been really, really productive. So that is very good because I need to get back into routine, back into the groove. We got a couple of provisions on the way back. So we got some cedar gluten free bread. Gotta say guys, gluten free bread is not the same. But in terms of how I'm feeling, I actually feel so much better being gluten dairy. Well, I can't say I'm dairy free because I am having butter, but it's quite high um, fat, but well, very high fat. 
low lactose better and I think it's lactose which causes like some stomach issues and then gluten as well. Um, I also get my jewel dates, I'm on a real date high at the moment. I feel like they are quite Christmassy. I remember when I was a child, my dad used to always get dates at Christmas. <laughs> now I always have my porridge. And I got some hazelnut dairy free milk. I've had this one before. It's actually really, really good. Um, it's all natural, so it's like spring water, rice, hazelnut, seaweed. Seaweed, interesting. But anyway, it did taste really nice. So that would be for my oats, because I'm also on oat hype. And I'm gonna take my stuff out of the laundry, because it will be done. I'm having eggs, my favorite of Bethel Browns. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And then we're gonna have three slices of this gluten-free toast with full fat or normal butter. No margarine, none of that, that rubbish. Guys, don't, don't get that stuff, not good for you. It's actually perfect. I like it really, really crispy, my taste. Controversial opinion, I know, guys. I also like the toast to be cold before I put the butter on. This is passed on from my mum, actually. I used to always laugh at the fact that she had to have it cold before she could put on the butter. Now, <laughs> I had to do the same thing. But like, you know, as you get older, you just end up taking on traits from your parents that when you're a child, you're like, I'm never gonna do that thing. I guess these things happen. I mean, my mum is the best, so that's okay. But the best trait is not maybe the best. I won't turn to my mum of having literally like the thickest layer of bass you ever did see. She she has like a centimetre, it's not as bad. Oh, hello. It's not as, oh no, is it a bit bad? It's a bit bad. I can smell it like that. It's not as bad as it used to be because <laughs> we've all made fun of her for such a long time about it. Good evening guys. Oh my gosh, it's so dark, so early. <laughs> it's really bizarre. But we're making, this actually looks very similar to the last one I was making in the evening in my last vlog. You can kind of not scared of the nose. I have actually had fish the last couple of days so I thought I would mix it up a little bit. I made that sushi, oh my god. It turned out terribly. I need to try and make sushi again, make it better. Because I didn't film that, but it didn't look good. So probably just as well I didn't film it. But this is gonna be a chicken from carne, so we're gonna add some, oh no, we need black beans. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna add a stock cube. And some different seasoning, and some cumin, and some coriander, if I've got some coriander. We'll have a look at my cupboard in a minute. I have just had a little lemon ginger tea. Went on a very lovely walk with one of my good friends who lives very close to me. So, yeah, all is good. Also, done a little bit of cleaning, but not got nearly as much cleaning as I need to do done yet. So this evening, I'm gonna be very busy cleaning. And I've got <laughs> two videos I need to edit. One of them actually is this one. So it's gonna be a fun filled evening. With all good intention, I went to see this fitness challenge. I realised I didn't have enough time because I need to get back for a client call. So, also, I hadn't actually eaten, so it probably wasn't the best idea trying to do a thousand reps when on an empty stomach. So, <laughs> consequently, I didn't do it, but I will do it definitely. I will do it over the festive period. That was my tea. But I'm actually, I'm feeling quite warm now because the heat from the cooking. I think if I show you guys, I got my pre -pads. I did think it'd be a bit bigger, but anyway, we've got my pre -pads. Woo! That was exciting, along with a lot of other posts which wasn't so exciting. One thing I think a lot of people don't know about me is I love chilli, but I've only got these dried chilies. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Like, I love chilli, but not like too, too much of it that burns your mouth so you can't actually taste what you're eating. I just don't know how much to add. It's always such a gamble. Dried chilies, I think, are hotter. You know what? I think I've already touched the chili and touched my nose, and I can already feel it tingling, which means it's probably an extremely hot chili. So I think maybe mm, I don't think Tabasco is going to be the same, is it, guys? Don't have any of the chili sauce, which is quite sad actually. I think I need to add some to my next order. <laughs> 